hang on, hang on. Right, go now. Hi, I'm Josie, editor of Mute. Just tell me when. Okay, hi, my name's Anthony Earls. I'm assistant editor at Mute. We're really reaching out to our network, our supporters, our contributors to try and um, basically find a way to remain somewhat autonomous um, and to continue to perpetuate um, a critical culture um, which is so important in these, in these times. We are asking you for contributions to our editorial budget. That means money to pay our writers. The reason um, why paying uh, writers is so important to me is that we hope to sustain original and critical voices um, outside of both professional journalism and academia. There is nothing simple about Mute and at the same time it's completely a simple concept which is don't isolate analysis, connect it to things and I think that Mute stands virtually alone in the UK publishing market and also is one of very few in an international publishing market. What you're about to see now is just a small selection of some of our incredibly generous contributors um, who are going to give you a flavour of Mute and a sense of why it's urgent for us to continue. So thank you very much for watching and thank you for your support. Mute has been great in analysing and criticising uh, new different forms of capitalist subjectivation. So I think, I think Mute is actually one of the most uh, awkwardly named journals and publications and sites out there because it actually, in a very rare way, has something to say. It actually isn't Mute. And since my time of being involved with it and even before I've been amazed about its capacity to actually be a space for thinking and writing and art uh, that can actually think through crisis in a real way. If ever I need something thinking about, if my students have come up with particular ideas that are, are interesting and need some kind of discussion or some kind of critique, then the place I always go, the people I always talk to is the people at Mew. Over the years, Mute has developed several web platforms, comprehensive, critical, compressed, expandable, expensive, affordable, hard hitting, and soft channeling. I think one of the big issues for me is that the mainstream art world itself, although it may have started using a lot of new media, a lot of the artists uh, um, went from video through to using the internet for various projects, but they have no understanding of the history of technology and the politics of technology and for me that's really crucial and that's why I think Mute, who've been um, working since 1994 in this country which was completely um, technophobic as far as I was concerned at that time, um, are really hugely vital and important um, because they carry on addressing those issues and they're absolutely on the forefront and the absolute boundary of understandings and discourses in those areas. Mute is the place where the most relevant and timely debates first emerged before being adopted into the wider discourse. And now because of current crisis, their funding has been cut and they need to find money in order to pay their contributors. I'm not so comfortable doing this with crowdfunding as I see it as a way of extracting value out of social relationships. But I'm sure that Mute will generate a ferocious critique while being implicit out of necessity. So in, in, the, in the coming year, um, we hope to continue to keep running a busy website full of um, critical commentary on culture, film, music, the arts, uh, literature, philosophy, um, to, look at, to continue to look at and support um, struggles in education, and to continue, continue our global coverage of um, the resistance to austerity measures which are being rolled out in this inauspicious year, 2012. Where else does the radical elite get their dose of caustic grassroots critique? Mute needs your money. Please help us continue this, this mad and simple project. Does that sound hysterical? No. <laughs> also, I was, I was remembering something that, um, I don't know if this is useful, but I was remembering the first article I wrote from you was about, it, I was really surprised that they, 
that they actually allowed me to write this article. It was about epileptic guide dogs and, and the fact that these dogs could sense when epileptics were about to have seizures. And, and Mute actually, actually kind of, um, just gave, gave kind of credence or, or like actually supported the fact that I wanted to write this strange exploratory article about dogs and their epileptic masters.